Hey everyone, my name is Donald and in this video we're going to be showing you how to extend your listing types with the My Listing theme. So we're going to cover a few things in this video, so let's just go ahead and get started. Let's start with adding a um, the options for people to do paid listings and claim listings. So from here we're going to navigate to our listings and then we're going to go to settings. From there we have the listing submission. And we can go ahead and turn on paid listings, which allows us to go ahead and use WooCommerce uh, to add packages to um, listing types, and then they can go ahead and check out with those. And then in order to add claim listings, we want to go ahead and check this feature as well. If you want the approval for the claim to um, be required, so they ha you have to approve the claim before they actually claim the listing, just select this box right here and hit save changes. From there, you're going to go ahead and navigate to your listing types. Go to your actual listing type here. Go to your single page, your cover buttons. And from there, we can add a new. And from there, we can actually go ahead and add an action to claim listing right here. We can go ahead and take this label and type in claim listing. And then we can add a button icon if we choose to do so. Let's go ahead and remove a couple of these just so we can go ahead and see that. So once we add the claim listing here, we're able to go ahead and do that. We can even add a shield so that they know it's kind of like a claim and it's verified. We can go ahead and do that and hit save. And then right here at the top, we're going to go ahead and click update. And that's how you add the claim listing to your listing types and all of your listings. So that if it's not already claimed, then the claim button will go ahead and show on the, uh, on the listing. And if you want to manually put the listing as claimed, we're going to go ahead and navigate to all listings. And let's go to our testing place. And down here, we can go ahead and turn the claim status to yes or no. So we can go ahead and manually claim the listing there. And then from there, we can assign it to the correct person down here in the author spot. We can click update there. Let's go ahead and do a few other things. Let's do add listing pages and adding the add listing button to the main menu up here. Let's go ahead and do a few things here. So let's create our add listing page. So we're gonna add a new page, add new listing. So it's gonna be, let's just, let's just, let's make it called join. And we're gonna go ahead and publish. And once this is published, we're gonna go ahead and edit this with Elementor by clicking on this button. And then we're gonna go ahead and navigate into the widgets for um, add. And then it's gonna be the add listing form. We're gonna click and drag this right into our section. From here, we can add a different title. And then we have card sizes. But let's go ahead and first add a listing type right here of places. Okay. So from here, we have our listing type of places and we can go ahead and make this, uh, all of these settings right here won't actually matter if we only have one listing type chosen. If we have multiple listing type chosen, then it will go ahead and show us tiles. So that you guys get a full effect of how this works, let's go ahead and create a package and assign it to the listing type as well. Let's go ahead and exit to our dashboard. Go to our products and add a new product. So this is the basic package. From here, we go ahead and navigate to listing package, put in our price of a thousand, why not? 
and then we have our listing limit so this is the amount of times that it can be uh, your a listing can be applied with this one package normally this will be one and then your listing duration however long you want 365 days is is a pretty common one you can actually have people claim using this package so if they click the claim button on the listing then they can choose this package to pay for that listing let's go ahead and publish this So from here, let's go to our listing tools and to the listing types. Click on places. Go over to packages. And we're going to select the package here and click add. From here, we can go ahead and put a description. And we can also change the label if we wish. And then we can also do a featured package. So it would be a, like a highlighted, like the most, most used or most common package. Let's go ahead and update this. We're going to go back to the my listing and we're going to go ahead and refresh this a bit so now you can see that we have the choose a package and we have the one thousand dollar basic package now when they click on this they select a plan from there they'll go ahead and be able to add all of their forms uh, that you choose to add From there, they'll be able to go ahead and add all of their information into the fields that you went ahead and chose for them to enter. All of the work hours, the social networks, the location, details, things of that nature. All of those are there. Now we want to be able to have a call to action type button that lets them join really easily. And we want to go ahead and add that in the top right hand corner. So let's go ahead over to the dashboard under theme options. From there, we're going to go ahead and navigate to header, scroll down. We have this show to call action button, show to show call to action button, sorry. And then we can go ahead and link this to a page. So we want this to do, go to our join page. And then we want the call to action button label to be join, just like that. So we can go ahead and update that navigate to our home page and right now we have the join button over there on the right hand side when they click on this they go to this page and they can select their plan if you have multiple packages here it will show them as well so we go ahead and select the plan and we can go ahead and fill out the form as we have it here let's go ahead and edit this form up so that we can add some more fields, delete some fields, and add some custom ones as well. So let's go ahead into that. So underneath of your listing tools, go to your listing types and click on the listing type you wanna edit. From there, go to the fields. And you can see that we have our form, but in field form over here, which matches it right here. Let's go ahead and change a few things up. A couple of these fields are required by the by the theme. So we have the title, which is required, which is going to be the title of the listing. So it's best to put this as a title, or you can put this as company name if you're doing a company directory. And then you, of course, description is also um, required as well because that is something that is required by the theme. So you have to have this. And then let's go ahead and see some of our other fields that we have. So if we go back to our form, we have our tagline. And then we have some images such as logo, cover image, and gallery images. For contact information, we have email, phone number, and website, and social networks. And then we have our work hours and then our location as well as the listing details for tags and um, some other products that they can add. Let's go ahead and change up these around. So let's go ahead and delete some of these. So 
So we have our two required fields here. Let's go ahead and add a few things. So we want them to upload their logo. So we already have a logo field right here. So we can go ahead and just click and drag that right into the used field section. We can go ahead and do a different label for this. So we can do company logo or we can do a places logo. We can do something like that. And then we can add a description. We also can make this required and we can make this show in the submission form on the front end, which is this submission form right here. We have the ability to show in the admin edit page. So if we want to be able to edit this for them on uh, some other time, we can go ahead and edit that. And then we have a package visibility checkbox, and we're going to get into that in just a little bit. So we have the places logo right here, and we have the cover image. Let's do that because that's important. And then we want them to be able to upload gallery images. So we have those three. These are all image related. So I would like these be in, to be in their own section. So if we go ahead and we navigate over to the create a custom field, we can scroll up and we actually have a form user interface section called heading. Let's go ahead and create that. From there, we're going to go ahead and drag this above the places logo. And you'll notice that this creates a space between the, these two fields. What this does is it creates separate sections on the form as you see here. So we have right now this image section right here and then all of these are lumped together. That's what this does. The heading will actually lump all of these together so that it's kind of a same section deal. Let's continue on with adding some more fields. So we want them to show their show, social networks. We can go ahead and add that. We have the ability to do the same. We have a label, the placeholders, descriptions, required field, submit, uh, admin edit page, and then package visibility. We have the option to add work hours, and there's really a lot of different options that you can add here. We also have the ability to create custom fields and let's go ahead and show you how to do that. First, I'm gonna go ahead and create a custom fields um, heading just so we can differentiate. So let's go ahead and add a custom field here. Uh, let's say we wanna go ahead and um, add a date. We can go ahead and add a date. We can add text areas, uh, selects, multi-selects, check boxes, things of that nature. So let's go ahead and add a text area and in this text area we want them to basically add a coupon that they can offer for their clients so this is going to be a coupon offer we have the ability to make this a required field if we need to we have all of the same options that we do in all of the other fields so we can go ahead and make this a required field show in the submission form show in the admin edit page, and then do a, a package visibility here. So right now, what this is going to look like, let's go ahead and update this. And then once this is updated, let's go ahead and navigate back to the join page, choose our plan. From there, we have all of our options here. So the custom fields for the coupon offer, they can go ahead and type in their coupon. We offer 10% off each new client when coming from this site. Boom, we have that. So we can add custom fields to our listings if we want to, just to extend the functionality a bit. Let's go ahead and
you guys have any comments, feedback, or suggestions on the video, please let us know in the comments below. We would love to hear from you. We hope that you find this video useful, so be sure to hit the like button and subscribe to our channel for more videos, and we will see you guys next time.